Hi, I am Dr. Sham Sharkar. Welcome to my class. Don't forget to subscribe this channel for more updates. In this lecture, I will explain two MCQ questions which two of my student requested to solve with explanation. Okay, so I will discuss two MCQ related with organic acid base and PKA with detailed explanation. Let us see first question. The correct order of rate of bond dissociation for the indicated CH bond in the following compounds. Three compounds are given and respective CH bonds are given here. So four different orders are given in the four options. So you will identify which order is correct order. Okay. So to explain this answer, you have to remember two points. Point number one, the rate of CH bond dissociation of the indicated bonds will depend on the stability of the anions formed after removal of H plus from respective CH bonds. So you will see, we will break these CH bonds and we will see the anion formed and stability of that anion. So you have to remember this point. Second point is, greater the stability of the anion formed after removal of H plus ion higher will be its CH bond dissociation rate. So with increase in the stability of the anion formed, the bond dissociation rate will be faster. Okay. If you remember these two points, then you can easily identify your option. Okay. So let us go one by one. So if you see first one, so after dissociation of this CH bond, the anion formed here like this. And if you go for second one, it forms like this and if you go for third one so this form like this okay now if you see the first anion so in first anion this is negative charge is present in the sp2 hybrid orbital and if you see the second anion here also negative charge is present in the sp3 hybrid orbital and if you see the last one here the negative charge is present in sp hybrid orbital okay so there are uh, three different carbon environment so three different types of hybridization is there now we know that electronegativity of carbon that means electronegativity order of carbon of sp hybrid orbital is greater than sp2 hybrid orbital greater than sp3 okay now the stability order of negative charge on carbon will be in the same order because the carbon atom which has higher electronegativity will stabilize that negative charge more compared to that of lesser electronegativity okay so here with if you see sp sp2 sp3 carbon atom so the stability order of negative charge of carbon will be sp greater than sp2 greater than sp3 okay therefore the stability of order of the carbon ions formed okay so if you see so this type of order will be there now thus the order of the given ch bond dissociation rate will be 3 greater than 1 greater than 2 now you go for this uh, matching with this option 3, 1, 2. So if you see that it, it will match with option D. That means option D is the correct answer. That means the CH bond which will break faster in case of the carbon atom which has sp hybridization. Okay. Compared to sp2, sp3 hybrid carbon atom. Thus we get this type of order. If you see the next question, the correct order of pK values for the compounds, three compounds X, Y, Z are given and four different orders with different options are given. You have to identify the correct order of pK values. Now here also you have to remember three different points because uh, if you remember these three points, you will be able to answer very easily. See first point. Point 1 the acidity of compound depends on the stability of the conjugate base you all know the stability of conjugate base formed after removal of H plus ion from respective compounds and the second point greater the stability of the conjugate base formed after removal of H plus higher will be its acidity 
and third point lower the value of pk higher will be its acidity so we know the inverse relationship between pk and uh, acidity so higher acidity means lower pk so these three points you have to remember to explain this question now you go after removal of h plus ion the conjugated conjugate bases formed in these three cases if you see the first one for x if you see this type of conjugate base will form now this conjugate base formed from x should be stabilized by two electron withdrawing carbonyl groups if you see n minus so uh, just nearby two carbonyl groups are there so this anion may be stabilized in this way i have shown here so if it stabilizes it forms resonating structure like this but this carbonyl group are not much effective to stabilize the conjugate base because these are also involved in the resonance with the phenyl ring as shown here if you see this so this is also involved in the resonance with the phenyl group that's why this these carbonyl groups are no, no longer available for the stabilization of conjugate base formed from x this is why this conjugate base is comparatively less stable okay now you go to the next one in case of y if you see here so here also this type of anion is formed the conjugate base of y is cyclic planar fully conjugated and it obeys huckel's rule that is 4n plus 2 pi electron rule where n equal to 1 hence it is aromatic in nature in addition the conjugate base is also stabilized by minus i and r effect of 5 cn groups okay so you can see the stabilization uh, occurs like this okay so therefore y is highly acidic highly acidic means it will have least pk okay so we got the least pk values and highly acidic and if you go for this last one that means z so here you can see the the conjugate base formed like this now conjugate base of z consists of a five membered ring in between two aromatic benzene rings you can see here this five membered ring is cyclic planar fully conjugated and obey huckel's 4n plus 2 pi electron rule where n equal to 1 hence it is aromatic in nature but if you see very clear clearly or very carefully the negative charge is no longer available due to take part in the delocalization with two benzene rings so if you see the delocalization process like this so this negative charge is no longer available it is uh, in the uh, delocalization with two benzene rings attached with it okay thus if, if you see it will be least stable and z has lowest acidity so the corresponding z will have lowest acidity so it will have highest pk so you got highest and lowest pk values now if you arrange the stability of the conjugate bases in this order so order will be like this therefore acidity order of x y z will be y greater than x greater than z and if you convert acidity order into pk order so it will be reverse of acidity order that means z will be highest pk greater z will be greater than x greater than y now you go for matching so z greater than x greater than y so this is matching with option c so option c is the correct answer so in this way you can solve this type of question very easily if you remember few points okay you can join my facebook group named as chemistry problem and solution there you can post your problem so i'll solve it and you will get many daily question answer discussion there okay so just go there and click this link and join my facebook group and also visit my website the url is given here so it will be very helpful for you just go and visit and uh, thank you so much for watching this video and still who have not subscribed this channel please subscribe to get further updates okay thank you